guess we'll start with the first question, which is, what is an OKOM? I've noticed there's quite a few people trying to ride up mountains very quickly. And although I did finish 670th out of 829 people at the 2019 Belgian Waffle Ride, I have accepted the fact that I'm not gonna be one of those people. But I do still love riding up mountains. So, this is a series about climbing big mountains, trying to find the most epic climbs wherever I can go, and recording my experience. I hope you like it. Just southwest of Lone Pine, California, is the epic Horseshoe Meadow Road Climb. Starting from the famous Alabama hills, you ascend six switchbacks and one fall summit on the way to Round Valley. The climb averages 7% over 16 miles with a total of 5,000 feet of elevation gain, topping out at 10,000 feet. This climb is deceiving. The first part, the first half of it, is straight up these long switchbacks. Averages, you know, six to 10%, but they're so long that you, the perspective gets skewed. And you're wondering why it's so hard. It just looks like a straight road. And then you come around one of the switchbacks and look up. And then you realize why you've been tapping out grinding gear for the last half hour. So things that don't quite translate well over this video. Just the pure scale. If you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, it's something like that where what your eyes are seeing, your brain just doesn't quite get. It's like you're looking down on the surface of another planet. And then on the other side, you have these just towering cliffs above you. And it's this, this new rock. It's only 100,000 years old or so, so it's just constantly crumbling and falling. I'm kind of waiting for any moment for a rock just to come hucking off this cliff and bonk me on the head. You can see the scars all over the road. The next thing are the smells. The air is so clean right now. So you just get these wafts of lavender and sage and juniper, pine. The last thing is the sound. There is none. I'm gonna stop for a second. I can hear my heart. That's about it. You can hear a car coming from three switchbacks down. There's no worry. By the time you get here, you've already had a sandwich. For people who dream about going to France and riding some of the tour routes, come here. If you live in the US, this rivals any of them. lucky like I was, you'll catch a couple hang gliders at Walt's Point before continuing up to the fall summit. After a quick downhill, a final push lands you at the top in Round Valley. It's the perfect spot for a much deserved rest before the return trip home. Now some of you may have noticed I was rolling some pretty big rubber on this ride. Hunt Carbon 650B wheels mated to IRC Boken Plus 47mm tires. 
and although they are slower on climbs, the road surface here is incredibly rough, littered with potholes, cracks, and little sharp rocks that are all seemingly out to get you. Tires like these allow you to focus on the views while lightly feathering the brakes, making the payoff much more enjoyable. The return trip consists of a quick downhill to the fall summit, a five minute climb, and over 4,000 feet of pure descending magic. Enjoy. I cannot express how much fun I had making this video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up and a share, and let me know which climbs I should tackle next. Peace.